Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. In this video, we will talk about the redirect to function, which is part of the route objects. I bet you have already used the redirect to option by providing a string value. How about if you're going to have more control and apply a logic which decides where to redirect? Without any further delay, let's get started. This is a route object where we have the path, which is my page and component, my page component. So what this means is that whenever the my page path is being activated, then we're going to serve the my page component. This is a very typical example and the route object has many different options. We're not going to talk about all of these options in this video, but we're going to focus mainly into the redirect to. A very common use case of the redirect to is something like that which means that we would like to match against this path and the path match we would like to be full, which means match against the entire URL and we would like to redirect to the dashboard. And as you can see, redirect to here is just a string value. In other words, what this configuration means, whenever the path is empty, we would like to redirect to the dashboard. But did you know that the redirect to other than string accepts also a function? Well, yeah. And what it happens behind the scenes in the Angular framework is that it checks if the redirect to is of type of string. In this case, it uses the string as is. If, however, the redirect to is a function, then the framework runs this function in an injection context, providing some arguments. And speaking of, of arguments, the arguments are params, query params, data, fragment, route config, URL, outlet, and title. And this is a small example. And what we're doing here is that into this path, in this case, this, this is just an empty path, we would like to redirect to, and as you can see here, we're providing a function. And here we aim to have our logic based on the query params, URL, and data. But let's go to VS Code and see a practical example. So what we're seeing here into the app config is our provide router configuration, our routes, and here we have the empty path, the path match full, and then we are redirecting to dashboard. Then we have a path for the search, and this is where we're going to focus mainly. We we'll have the products and the users. So let's go to the browser to see how this application works. So this is our dashboard, and then if I click into the products, as you can see here we have a list of products, and the same goes with users products and users, and they have sort of the same look and feel. Please focus here into the URL. And as you can see for the users, what we have is we are navigating to the search page by providing a query parameter type of users and the same we're doing here for the products. The same page. So search query parameter type equals products. Well, I can say that this is not a great design and it's very hard to scale. So how about to change that? And this is where we're going to use the redirect to function. And what we would like to do is the following. Whenever we're clicking the products, we would like our function to redirect us just here to products. And whenever we're clicking the users, where we are activating the search page, we would like to be redirected into the users. Something like that. Someone would simply say, uh, you know what, why don't we change the URLs directly into the navigation bar? Well, yeah, that would be a case, but how about if we have something like that? If we have a bookmark. So this will be our products, and this will be our users. So let's do that. If I click now products, we are here, and if I click users, we are here. So we would like to provide a better solution for our users, and I mean the users of this application. So let's now go to VS Code and see a little bit about the search and how this works. If I go to the search component, what this guy is doing is that for the results, it has internally a switch map which decides based on the query parameter type. If the type is products, then we are utilizing this service if this is users, we are utilizing this service. And like we said previously, this is not a great design. We would like to use the products component, which is much simpler, 
utilizing just this one and then for the user's component it utilizes the user service so let's get started what we're going to do is the following i would like for my path search to apply my logic and my logic will be a redirect to logic and this is going to be a function and immediately just to see whether this works or not i will return products no more than that so now if i go into the search and i click products as you can see here we have the products and if i click users again we have the products and the query parameters are getting maintained and the same thing goes here if i click products we will have the redirection and if we click users again we have the redirection but what we would like here is to have a logic so let's apply our logic and we would like first to grab our query parameter type so let's have here our query params and here i will have my type and then i could have a switch case and if the case is users if the type is users then i would like to redirect to users if the type is products i would like to redirect to products before improving that let's go and see what we have done so far so now if i click products we are under products and if i click users we are under users nice so it seems that our logic currently works just fine so let me now copy this link address paste it here and how about if my type is, I don't know, something else? Customers. So again, we are directing to products. It would be better in this case not to have a fallback in this one, but return the path as is. To achieve that, we will also have here our URL. And in any other case, what we're going to do is to return the URL. And please note, this is an array of URL segment. And we would grab the first segment and then just the path and in this case now if we have this one which is our search page with type customers we will have just the search with type customers nice and as you can see here like we said previously we have the products with a type query parameter which is our products and how about now if we want to have other query parameters so let's go again here, copy the link address and be like, you know what? I would like also to have a query parameter and my query parameter would be something like that equals test. And again, we are redirecting under products with a type products and query parameter test. And let's assume now that we have new requirements and we would like to redirect to products, but do not provide just the query parameter test and the type product but we would like also to have more query params. How can we achieve that? Well, let's go back to VS Code and say the following. The redirect to function, let's go there. Other than returning a string, which is our users or products, it can also return a URL tree. So let's construct that. And to construct the URL tree, we can go here and be like, you know what? I would like to have my router. Router equals inject router. And please note that the redirect to function runs in an injection context, which is very valid to have the inject here. And let's apply our logic for the case of products. So here, what we would like to do is router create URL tree, and we would like to navigate to products. And perhaps here, we need to provide some query parameters. And the query parameters that I would like to apply is, you know what? I know that my query parameters are already there, so I would like to have all of my query parameters and I would like to provide one more. And this could be, I'm just making things up, this could be just a version of v2, something like that. So now we expect whenever we are navigating to search, we expect to redirect to products, maintaining all the query parameters and at the same time to have our version. So let's go and see what we have. And if we click products, we can see now that we have type equals products and version equals V2. So this is how the redirect function works. 
Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.